Craig Carpenter was a medic. He braved the battlegrounds of Somalia, Panama, and Desert Storm to save lives. But when he returned home, he faced his own medical crisis. Diabetes, high blood pressure, and multiple sclerosis landed him in a wheelchair. Like millions of Americans, his well-being was dependent on achieving a delicate balance of treatments that fluctuated with the ebb and flow of a dizzying array of data generated by daily monitoring of his condition. In a way, Craig Carpenter is a symbol for the state of medical care in America. We have gotten really good at doing tests and collecting data, but the new challenge is managing that information in a way that can save lives. That is what this story is about, how the Veterans Administration discovered a way to synthesize all this complex information into a web-based diagnostic and monitoring tool that allows patients and doctors to access information from any computer in the world. It's an innovation that could change millions of lives. Yeah, I was in the Army from um, 84 to 94, and I was a medic. I served in support of Just Cause in Panama. I also served directly in Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and I served in Somalia, assigned to the infantry division, uh, again, in the role as a medic. I have three children. I have a 17-year-old, uh, a 12-year-old, and a 4-year-old. Ashley is my 17-year-old. She loves cheerleading. My son is uh, loves playing soccer. And then my 4-year-old, and... Uh, I just love her. Those are my kids, and that's, that's, my, that's my world. Let's start by taking a look at your vision here, Craig. What's somewhat unique with my situation is that because I have both multiple sclerosis and diabetes, I have two different that's doctors I'm working there. with. And I want you to decree the smallest line of numbers that you can. 874. Okay. That's the smallest one? Yes. Can you any problems with your stomach at all? Nausea, vomiting? One of the things that uh, really brings fear to me and shakes me down to my bones is okay. total loss of sight. Okay. You know, the main things we need to do, like I said, is to get a better handle on your blood sugars. So. It probably happens maybe okay. once a month, once every two months. How many fingers? None. Okay. How about now? None. How about now? None. How about now? None. Okay. Take your eye out. Can you just look right at that green flashing light for me, please? Hey Francine, I'm just showed up. That's great. Here you go. This is the list for the day. Okay. For VA. I think oh. innovation comes from need. We were seeing lots of patients, too many patients, where no medical record was available, where no films or x-rays were available, where no list of prescriptions were available, and it clearly was impacting the quality of care that we were providing in the VA. Our patients tend to be older, they tend to be sicker. They also tend to come here for many years so that we had a situation where many of our veterans would have two, three, four volumes of paper records. And it's important that whether they're going to primary care or going to see a specialist or going to surgery, that the providers have all the information that they can possibly have. And with our record, they have that. The system is our computerized patient record system. We refer to as CPRS. It is, uh, as far as I know, the only totally uh, inclusive inpatient, outpatient image electronic system that there is. It enables uh, every provider to have every bit of the medical record, every doctor's note, every prescription, every image available on their desktop or on their laptop or from their home. Um, and it has revolutionized the way we deliver care. So we started you on a new medication, and your weight actually is stable. It doesn't look like you've gained any weight. You look like you're actually losing a few pounds, which is good. But this is when you had that upper respiratory infection, it's actually clearing up. 
which is good. It's, it's very helpful. Everything is integrated, and so I don't have to go down to radiology um, to see his films. I was able to look at his most recent MRI here in front of him. It improves my ability to take care of my patients. I can show them their results easily. I can go over trends with them. I can look at graphs with them. So I can make it interactive for them as well. It's not me dictating things to them. It's more allowing us to partake in their health care together. Craig is a middle-aged uh, male with MS and also diabetes and high blood pressure. Okay, um, I have to give you medications and I wanted to see if I could scan your armband. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back with your medicine. He's got some major medical problems for a younger person that are difficult to manage together. Something as simple as prescribing me Motrin and then another doctor prescribing me Tylenol. When you're taking those two medications simultaneously, and will actually cause you to have a headache. The computer won't let it go through. It'll flag it itself and say, you have to rewrite the order. I can communicate with the whole hospital right here. And within seconds, the doctor put the order in, and then I have it, and then the pharmacist have it. You know, everybody's on the same page, and it's a lot faster. We we'll spend less time deciphering out the orders and looking for the patient chart and more time with the patient. All right, thank you. Welcome. What was your home phone number again? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. Please enter your blood sugar data using the number keys. Received your data. Your measurement is complete. How may I help you next? Please select an activity. There are actually a couple of systems that work interconnectively. One is called My Healthy Vet. My Healthy Vet is a personal health record that each patient has. It gives me the ability to actually key in my uh, blood sugar levels. We are actually giving to the patient on his website, which is doubly encrypted, very secure, all of his record, his discharge summaries, his lab tests, his prescriptions, the comments that the doctor has made for the patient. The big things I like about it is that you can actually monitor the fluctuations. You can see exactly, you know, what happened before and it will chart it and graph it so you know the ups and the downs. So everything is there for you to see. There are no secrets. I can see exactly what the doctor wrote. I can see what's going on. I get nervous because my blood sugar goes way, way up. You know, put me into a coma. The other thing is monitored by a nurse. Hi, this is Susan Jackson, your telehealth nurse. Yes, hi, Ms. Jackson. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I am calling because today your blood sugar was 210, about 10 a.m. Yes, um, th that was high for that. That was a, that was a high reading. Did you eat They can then teach themselves how to treat morning? their own disease in a very oh, real way using the tools we clinicians call. have had all along. I think it's affected the quality of the care majorly in this hospital and throughout the system. A few years ago, uh, the VA controlled hypertension in about 35 percent of patients who were diagnosed with high blood pressure. Uh, today, that number is approaching 80 percent. I mean, just think that 80 percent of the patients that are diagnosed with high blood pressure have their blood pressure under control in the VA. I think that's a prime example of how our electronic health record has gone a long way towards improving the lives and saving the lives of many veterans. That same information is what I let my children see so they can understand exactly what's going on. And that is so key. Before, they were very disconnected as far as, okay, you know, daddy's dying of, of this, you know, he may die of this disease. Well, you know, now they understand the treatment understand that these are things that are going on. You know, they have more of an insight. In the last 10 years, while healthcare costs have risen far in excess of 40, 50 percent, the VA has literally held the cost per patient to zero. We have stayed about the same cost per patient. 
And I think that's because of lots of factors, that, and a lot of them we can tie to our record. We've been able to move from an inpatient system to an outpatient system, not because we no longer have to admit patients when we don't know what meds they're on. We no longer have to admit patients to duplicate tests. One in every seven patients in this country is admitted to a hospital because the doctor in the emergency room or in the admitting area does not have access to their patient record. That never happens here. And if they go to a community hospital, to a private doctor, they can either go on that doctor's computer and call up their record or give that doctor access literally to whatever part of the record they want that doctor to have access to. I was in Milwaukee and I got my medication and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling well. So I went to the VA center in uh, Wisconsin and actually was able to provide them with my healthy vet information, the, uh, the website and logged in and were able to fill a prescription that I needed because they can they see it right there on the screen. You're not limited to another VA hospital because anyone that has internet access can get that information. Nationally, I think the figure is 60% of medical records were available for a clinic visit. Now 100% of medical records are available for every clinic visit. So it, it really has, as I say, changed the way we deliver care. 146, 147, 148. I also volunteer as well, because you got to give back. You got to you got to do something for for your fellow soldier. One fifty. So, I feel it's very very important that you that you do that. Uh, great. Francine Hill. Oh, that's my buddy. She's one of the main people I work with at the outpatient lab. She's one of the most caring people that I know. She really really. She really tries to not sympathize with the vets because none of us want any sympathy. But we, you know, but then we appreciate empathy and we work closer together to make sure that the people are taken care of. I always look forward to seeing you. You're such a wonderful person. I really, really appreciate your concern and your phone call. Oh, you are so wonderful. And I hope that you feel better and you come to see me next time you're at the medical center. All right. Bye-bye.